Hi, it's Phil from Delphi, and in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to perform a static height calibration on this BMW X5. Now, these air suspension vehicles can have full air springs, so that's air springs front and rear, or like this particular variant, this has coil springs on the front and air springs on the back. Whichever system, following an air spring replacement, then you're gonna to need to perform a height calibration. Now, this height calibration can be done in a few different ways depending on which BMW it is. Some vehicles just require a static height calibration, completed in the workshop, and others require a static, then a dynamic calibration, which is to be driven on the road. Ready to get started? Let's jump in the vehicle. Now, this calibration is gonna be completed after one of a few jobs. The first job is that you have replaced an air spring. The second job is if you've replaced a damaged height sensor. Now, if you've just come from replacing an air spring, you will have just run the function filling the bellows. This is where the, the compressor runs, fills the entire air system, and the car is now pumped up, but isn't yet height calibrated. We run that function in the electronic height control module. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to come out of the electronic height control module, and we're gonna head in to the central body into the body control module. When we go into the body control module, we'll go to the adaptations and calibration section of the diagnostic tool, and we're gonna run the function height level adjustment. Now, as always, as an all makes technician, it's really hard to be an expert at absolutely everything. That's why we provide these really simple and clearly to follow help files for every diagnostic function. Now it gives us the test conditions, Ignition on, no internal faults within the body control module. The vehicle must be on a level ground with the steering wheel straight. And the vehicle's load must not change during calibration. So we don't want to do this while we're sitting in the vehicle because as we could move, we would modify the vehicle's height and that would interrupt or render the calibration unsuccessful. So it says once you've completed those and we're happy, we can go ahead and start the function. So I'm going to get out of the car shut all the doors, and then begin that calibration. Now everything is prepped on the vehicle, we're ready to go ahead and begin the calibration. Just two quick things first. The first is to make sure that you've got battery support backup fitted to the vehicle. We've got the battery charger on here, just to make sure that we don't drop in voltage during the procedure. The second, because we're doing something with height, make sure that we've got the tire pressures set correctly. I've already pre-done them on this vehicle, ready for this task. Go ahead now and do the calibration. Starting the calibration, we get a menu giving us those final confirmations. Park the vehicle on a flat surface, set the wheels to a straight ahead position. Steering wheel straight. No controller errors can be stored in the BDC. Let's go ahead and perform the calibration. So the calibration's in progress. The module is being reset. And there we go. The function is now complete. We can now exit the vehicle, switch off the ignition, and remove the battery support unit. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, then why not check out our social media or visit us at the Masters of Motion online hub. And for more expert-led courses, visit us at the Delphi Academy. Thanks for watching.